Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. I'm your host, Big Brother 5000, and uh, we are playing Tormented Souls. Um, last time, I discovered this is not an unlockable costume, and I feel very terrible about that. However, we uh, I forgot about that. We can't get in there, because I, I don't get it. I don't understand. So we will do something else. We'll go down here. If I get jump scared and heart attack. Mm. Not good. Not good at all. I think it freaks me out that I have ammo and no gun. Because that implies, hey, <laughs> more ammo. Uh... Okay, because I know I'm going to have to fight something. I've got my gamer headphones in. You guys are probably turning it all the way up. I don't know that, but uh, it's going to get spooky. That's all I'm trying to say. Dr. William Wildberger, since the patient's health is extremely delicate and the transfer could worsen their condition, I would advise against transferring them to the new hospital. The patient has cardiac insufficiency and requires an immediate transplant. The patient passed away at 11.34 p.m. due to cardiac arrest. At the time of their death, they were holding onto a metal object with the rapid onset of rigor mortis. I have been unable to remove it from their hand. Well, gimme. Something tells me I'm going to be able to get that. No, it's just all the same stuff on the back. It's loud. It's loud for me. I hope it's not loud for you, but... It's, it's loud enough for me. A hex and socket. It's missing a handle. Well... If anything, we can, uh... We can find that handle. I'm gonna have another... Escape room puzzle. Yeah, let's go in here. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. And just to let you guys know, like, um, after my last save point, uh, great. Ah. <laughs> this is Joy riding in a wheelchair. Buddy, you can't do that in the halls. Should we chase him? Should we go this way? We're going to have to chase him. <sighs> you know what? I don't need that. I really don't need that. It's been mutilated. What the heck is going on here? Ew, squishy. Oh, I, uh, it's great. I'm going the same way. Is this a door? Oh, well, let's go kill that thing. With the gun I don't have. People are obsessed with gas businesses. These camera angles. <laughs> it's, it's not good. I just noticed that all the, all the lights have hands. Excellent. Sweet. Mm hmm love it. Mm -hmm. Everything about it. I just need more of it. Let's check the map. Where am I? I went downstairs for one. Do I not have a map of the uh, previous? I see them. There's more maps under it. I'm downstairs somewhere. He couldn't have gone far. It's a joy riding around. Well, he could get pretty far. He's got the wheels to do it. It's locked from the other side. Isn't it always? And something's waiting for me over here. I was wrong. I'm glad. Well, <laughs> spoke too soon. Hey, pal. <laughs> oh, gee, you coming at me? It's on the other side. Great, great. Um, buddy, what can I say? Can you open doors? Well. 
Hello, sir. I'm sorry. What is going on here? What? My child, you are pale. What happened to you? A person in a wheelchair with knives in his hands was chasing me. Now, call it a person. Oh, it's you. Don't you remember me? I'm the town priest. We met here in the chapel only a couple of days ago. What? I'm sorry. I don't remember you. I certainly don't remember coming here before. I see. Perhaps I'm mistaken. I'm old and get confused every now and again. What is going on here, Father? Where is everybody? The patients and the hospital personnel have been transferred to the new hospital in town. This old mansion has been left pretty much abandoned. Why are all the lights off? I don't like this. I feel the same. Something evil is happening here. Stuff. Something wicked that hides in the shadows. Is there a way to turn on the lights? The old generator has been playing up. It happens sometimes. Go to the end of the hall and through the door that leads to the generator room. You can restore the power from there. I see. I'll do that. I Wait. Will. Take this with you. It's not much, but it might be useful. It's dangerous to walk around the mansion unarmed. Thank you, Father, but what are <laughs> you going to do without a weapon? My child, with a Bible in my hand, God protects me. You got it, man. Oh, our weapon. Nifty. A nailer with a modified air pressure tank to increase the power. Sweet. Equip that right away. Sir. I, I can't hold the light and... Uh, great. How to use? B reloads. Left trigger. Right trigger. Simple. Can I juke? Oh man, I can juke. Whoa. Pretty cool. Well, I was, uh, I can only, no, I can't, I can't do anything. I can walk backwards in place. Sweet. That will help me. Is it like a quick equip that I could use? Dude, kind of freaking me out a little bit, but, uh, you gave me this weapon. It's not plugged in. Okay. Fair. I'm gonna go down here, my dude. With some light. I really hope there's like a quick, like a quick thing where I can just get to the lighter very quickly. Can I combine it <laughs> with my aim? Can I? Oh, well. Can't blame me for trying. It pauses. It looks like it pauses, so I'll have the time. You have to see something up on the wall. I don't like this. I don't know about this one. I don't know about that one, Chief. I got nothing for this. Ain't got nothing for this. Got nothing for this. Gonna make my way over here. You never appreciate the music until it's gone. So, listen up, folks. Enjoy it while it lasts. It's just like that, it's gone, and I hear it coming after me. I get some. I can't see it. I have no visual impairments. I walk right up to it. I wanted to get by it. Like that. That's it. I'm just trying to do. Nope. Can I angle thing? Yeah. Oh 
many bullets it doesn't kick. Sir, it's just... a... Probably no need to kill it. I probably could have walked on and done something else, but I wanted to relish the first kill of the entire game. I don't know why I keep checking the back of that, and that's not the map I need. Walk from the other side. We got it. We took it down. You and me. We're a good team. So I'm going to take my Silent Hill approach to playing this game. If it's slow and it can only have melee, I'm going to try and... <laughs> and those swings, they're not they are not the best swings. It can't always hit me. So I think I just might walk past it, try and do something else. Minor inconvenience, as you know. I keep wanting to check the map, but it's not the same floor. Unless I just don't know how to... I'm assuming it's like Resident Evil, and this is going to get to danger before I actually need to use it. I've got six shots. Okay. Getting into it. Resources. It's always resources. It's always top right. Shoot that thing out of the way. No. It's because it was blocking me. Going upstairs. Figure out my mission objective. Maybe I'll just do a quick once over. Now that I have a gun. Maybe things will change. Nope. Try pushing a couple stuff. Bower? No. Moving on. Judith beheading Holoferns, painted by Caravaggio in 1602, depicts Judith beheading the Syrian general Holoferns in his tent after charming him. The reaction of Caravaggio's work is outstanding. It almost looks like the original. Might be the original. In fact, I may remember this story. Let's talk from the other side. Art. Well, now that I'm actually on the floor, I'm gonna dance. That's what I'm gonna do. So we the waiting room, main hall, dentist room. Let's try that. It'd be cool if they show me where I was, but I think that'd be asking for a little bit too much. I need to pay attention. People tell me things, and I just forget all about it. Now that we have the gun, they can start putting in monsters, which is not good. Yeah, this is the escape room. I'm, going, I'm headed to the save point, right? Yeah, that's where I'm headed now. The only thing he gave me... I need a tool. I need a handle. They need to make stuff sparkle up in this piece. Scale every wall until I find it. Computer? It's not plugged in. Of course, there's no power. What was I thinking? But, while we're making our way downtown, I hope you guys are doing okay. And, uh, things are going well for you. We're gonna... I'm actually really excited to play this game. I have a played a survival horror game in, in quite a bit. Um, there's only so many times I can replay Resident Evil 2 Remake before craving something new. I'm gonna go check around with that priest guy, 
He probably had something. I'm assuming. I don't know, but I'm, I'm guessing. <laughs> Say do not run. Yeah, it says do not run. Nothing about the wheelchair. I should have put, put that sign up. Oh my gosh, like, is body still there? No. Oh, it is. Oh, that's not good. It's not good. It's not good. I see what you're doing. I see what's happening. I see what's going on there. For those of you that don't know, in Resident Evil, the first one, if you didn't light zombies on fire, they would come back. And even angrier than before. It's the worst. I came here looking for information about the two girls in this photograph. I see. What do you want to know about them? Anything, really. I was hoping to find some leads around here. That's not what you said. I don't know what you're looking for, but I can tell you these girls are no longer with us. There was an incident some decades ago where they disappeared, never to be found again. That sounds terrifying. She's given us some extra dialogue. Bonus dialogue. Indeed, if you want more details, you could try the mansion library. I'm sure you'll find something there. Thank you, Father. Take care. Library. That's what he said. Cool, cool, cool. <gasps> wow. I missed that, didn't I? A well round crowbar. The crowbar. Well, I do remember a place that had boards over it, so we will use that just for that. Was it down here? <laughs> everything was everything I needed was here. Today is one of the happiest days of my life. William came running into the room, searching for something. His eyes traveled around the room, giving me no more than a few seconds of attention. But then he looked at me again. His eyes opened wide. William came to me and put a hand on my forehead. <laughs> You're sick. He pressed his fingers into my wrist and looked at me for a few seconds. Unbelieving, his voice faltered when he spoke. We are going to have a baby, he said. I felt sick. William took the rest of the day off. He acted like a child, laughing and speaking of a future, holding my hand the whole time. That night, we heard a noise coming from the other ground. It sounded like metal being struck over and over. We could not find sleep until early morning. Interesting. Does this all say the same stuff? No. <laughs> it's just, I should have read the left page first. The 1st of January, 1967. William promised me that moving into the mansion where the city hospital is located would be the best for us. That it would allow us to spend more time together. These days, however, I find him spending every waking hour at work. I fall asleep waiting for him at night. His passion for medicine is what made me fall in love with him in the first place. Am I being selfish? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Yes, see? Oh, hey, it's that one thing. It is. It's the same thing? Yeah, naked skin, father's whip, crazy stuff. Oh, was this like my journal? Am I just putting stuff in here? I don't know. That'd be pretty cool. Good way to do it. Yes. In the crowbar. Let's go. And the resonant floating in and stuff. Oh, she does both. I thought I was going to have to do both of them. It's that delicious sound for your ears. The, the ambiance. Hey, you got some, got some ammo. We don't hesitate. We load that sucker up right away. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need that. I, I changed my mind, I changed my mind, I changed my mind, I changed my mind. Well, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, what did we learn? What did we learn? What did we learn? This place is dark too. <laughs> well, that was panic inducing. That was, that was crazy. 
I didn't need that. I didn't need that at all. I reloaded already. Sick. Can I reload just by... <laughs> taking out my gun? Let's not do that again. Okay. If something attacks me, don't get rid of the leader. It's not gonna help. Nobody will benefit from it. Map. Why don't you give it to me? Why can't I have this map? This is the same exact map. What's the purpose? Just give it to me. I'm in the generator room. Yes, they all say the same thing in the back. Ah, here we go. See? Pretty neat that I'm just holding on this. I can't have that map. That map is uh, not for me. What's this? Small valve. It appears to have fallen off of something. Oh, I need to find that something. Well, okay. Is it here? Is it where it fell off of? No, because these are just buttons. Of course. Makes sense. Touch. I say, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have, I, have, I don't get it. <laughs> I completely don't want to understand it. I'm lost. I don't know what to do. I don't know what that was all about. <gasps> Holler. Oh, this looks great. I know what this is for. Start that right there. Perfection. <laughs> Down to zero, maybe? Well, no, I needed this valve to do a thing. Do I need to get to a certain number? That might be the case. Let's get it as high as possible, see what that does. <laughs> Nothing, brother. It's not going to do anything. What kind of puzzle would that be if you just flipped all the valves and it just worked? To the previous one. Ten. Oh, of course, of course. It makes sense. Ten. Perfect sense. So let's try that again. I'm hearing like breathing. I don't know if you guys are hearing that. There's an issue with the electric generator. The pressure of the gas must be exact for it to ignite. The correct pressure is written on the control panel. Thanks. Okay, so now we know what we want. Decrease by one. There we have it, I think. The the games where like it's like a controlled camera, we can only see one thing at a time, like Silent Hill and Resident Evil. Like I don't I don't dislike the camera. It adds to the character of the game. Well we did it. Lights are on. <laughs> you know what that means. It's weapon time. That's when all the monsters realize, well, dang, we turned on the thing. So now we all gotta crowd around. Oh, yeah. I just wanted to see if the lights were on everywhere. I That's uh it's pretty good. <laughs> you did a pretty good job there, game. I'm just going to talk to this guy, see if he wants to comment on my success. You may find what you're looking for. How can I find the library? It's on the second floor of the East Wing. Take the stairs in the main hall. Oh, you'll need to unlock the door in the waiting room. All right, all right. Thank you. Take care, Father. Okay, so it's just back the way we came, probably. I'm going this way because I think there was a door that I didn't go through. And I need to check. I must check. Unlocked. Do I need to go this way? Oh, how about that? Magical. Do not run. You got it, Captain. The morgue. So now that we have our map, 
Or the basement. Yeah. Let's go in the morgue. The boiler room. We don't need to go in these rooms, but we gotta check everything. We gotta find those jump scares. It's locked. Never mind. I forgot. Getting power does not unlock every single door in the mansion, sadly. Uh, I don't need it. I've already been down there before. I don't know what's there. Hi. If we don't know what's down there, we can use our imaginations, right? The darkness. It consumes. That is, it's very crazy. It's every time it messes with my screen. Right, this thing. Mm, no. Not yet. I don't feel like I'm advanced enough for that quite yet. I'm transporting out of here. Okay. Enough goofing around. A photo of a nurse standing next to a patient. Who is the patient? Let me find out later. Or we might find out now. Lucas Huston. Evening shift. Electrical maintenance. 1445. The nurses told me that a lamp was malfunctioning in the maternity ward. When I turned on the lights, I could see that one of the bulbs in the wall was indeed flickering. As I was getting ready to change it, a man came out of nowhere and grabbed me by the shoulders, pushing me back with strength unimaginable for someone his age. He told me not to touch it. I didn't want to argue with him, so I simply left. I couldn't stop thinking about it. Why did the old man prevent me from touching it? I should check it out. Oh, I thought I saw something moving. It's just like the particles moving in the back. There's an issue with the electric generator, and the pressure of the gas must be exact for it to ignite. The correct pressure is written on the control panel. Oh, I already had that. These are my notes, and I just put a bloodstain note around my, around my thing. Can I collect these? Make a mixture? Hello? Is anybody there? I would appreciate it if you didn't kill me. of various medicines. Fascinating. Alrighty. Let's see what this room has to offer. Hey, buddy! I just noticed you! It's full of various medicines. What's your story? Oh, is this the rigor mortis, dude? Let's <laughs> give him a shock. Yet, man. Come on. Is he missing something out of his chest? Her chest, I'm sorry. Wait, wait, I didn't get all that. The chest was left open in the middle of the procedure. The heart is missing. Right. <laughs> I see the problem. I, I, I see it. Okay, now, don't worry, man. We'll, we'll find your heart. We'll, we'll get it back for you. Water switched off. Water switched off. What was the hole with the camera? That's... Don't do that. My poor heart can't take it. Much like this poor lady over there. He's being corridor. I didn't... No. I hear you. Can you lock on? I desperately want to kill whatever it is. Not gonna though. Safe bullets live longer. Or, 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 you know what? We light it up. Spin. Game plan.
Oh, what if it's like uh, Resident Evil where I, if I just go to the nails and combine them with my gun? Ha! Perfect. But, ladies and gentlemen, sadly, I am all out of time for this episode. And um, it's been it's been pretty fun. This game's pretty cool. I like the combat of survival horror. It's always my favorite. This is very reminiscent of Resident Evil, and um, I'm having a lot of fun with it so far. Um, I hope you guys are too. Um, I'll be right back in the next episode. I hope you guys are doing awesome. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I am Big Brother 5000. Hope you have a fantastic day. Take care. Bye-bye.